Now, to be, to be honest, when we were in the bookstore, after our trip to the armory that you guys just watched, we stopped by the bookstore because I wanted to get some source material for Star Wars. Because mm -hmm. um, we're going to start doing Star Wars. So I wanted to get some source material. When we went over to get uh, something to drink, I veered off into the magazines. And, and you looked at me like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. Just looking at Glamour and... <laughs> Vogue and Cosmopolitan. Yeah, Vogue. I wanted to see how much the prices were. I wanted to see if this was an honest-to-God gripe or if he was just nitpicking. Now, I seen the magazines from three dollars and fifty cents to fifteen dollars, um, and I, I specifically went over there just to see. Now, the magazines that were cheap are full of ads. You've got to sort through the ads to get to the material. The ones that are more expensive don't have as many ads, and Anybody that's been in a White Dwarf knows everything in there is Games Workshop. Is games workshop. Yeah. There is no ads for the war store. There is no ads for this, for that, for this, for that. Everything in there is 40K. You know, and that's the part that really got me. You know, you're whining and crying. You're playing the most expensive hobby you can, and you're going to whine and cry about nine goddamn dollars. Yeah. That's two things of paint. Yeah, it is. That's two things of paint. I, I, bought, get rules. I, I bought three paintbrushes that cost more than... Right! Yeah. <laughs> and he's, he's complaining it and banning the thing and trying to get everybody else to not buy it, too. Don't they have a magazine, by the way? Yeah, the free Buddhists. All these people that they conned in the buying a membership got together. And it is a really good magazine. It's, a good magazine. it's what White Door should be. But, don't get on GW because of it. You're paying, playing the most expensive hobby you can, and you're going to complain about nine goddamn dollars. You cheap little bastard. <laughs> oh, he said it. Oh, he pulled it out of the hat. I mean, oh, come on. And then he don't even want to hear about the rule because it was in White North. You know, well, we'll just skip this part of the, the, the hobby because it's in there. And then he complains that, you know, only a third of the magazine is 40K, and that's all I want to expand your horizons, dude. There's more than 40K out there, you know. Uh, Makes fun of square basers. Let, let me ask you, yeah, what, what's the deal with the square basers? What is that? Those are fantasy guys. Oh, that's right. And what you're, you're stupid if you play fantasy. Yeah. You're not a real hobbyist because you don't play my game. Yeah. You self-centered little punk. Now wait, we're bitching about this, but how do we jive the fact that we just talked about how they were making, GW's making so much money, and bitching and moaning ourselves, versus how he's doing it? Well, one, I think we, we, we don't have anything to sell. And two, you know what? I saw the price. I still bought it. I'm still going to play the game. Yeah, what, what are you <laughs> saving? All right, you didn't buy that magazine. What can you, can you buy from the hobby for that little bit amount of money? Yeah. I'm waiting. Yeah. Oh, I can buy a paint bottle and a half. Yeah, okay. Can you can't even get two whole bottles of paint. Yeah. But you can get rules. You can get painting tips. You can get... Uh, and just because it's labeled as Lord of the Rings, and uh, the tactics for Lord of the Rings, you can't use that tactic for 40K? Yeah, well, it's a good magazine. We like it. I've always I, I like it. I get it every month. Mm, not every month is there something in there that I am 100% happy with, but where else am I going to get all this information? You know, he's got to rely on his free Buddhists to tell him what's in the magazine. <laughs> you cheap <laughs> bastard. <laughs> and then, two seconds later, say, oh, don't buy GW shit, but buy my shit. Here's a hat, a replica of my hat. It only costs you so much money, you can be like me. Yeah, buy the swag mark. Yeah. Buy the swag mark. I mean, I, I don't, I don't give the guy. I mean, yeah, all right, he's making money, good for you, but don't bitch about GW making money. You know, what's the only other alternative? Turn the magazine into an advertisement for everything under the sun. You're going to reduce the content value, and it'll be a little bit cheaper. But now you got to sort through mag or ads, and you're losing content. I mean. 
it just irritated me. You know, I'm sitting there listening to him bitch and whine and complain about this little magazine and how he's going to boycott it and everybody else should boycott it too. And then in the same breath, hey, but buy my shit. You know? <laughs> And the way he talks down to people, that poor guy, Phil, they don't say why Phil left the show. I liked Phil. Poor Phil. Yeah, he had to take his shit. Stewart. Is that his name? It's not Stewart. That, I'm just so mad I can't think of his goddamn name. That's, that, that's how important you are. I can remember the freshman. Oh, he's a sophomore now. And that's another thing. They got challenged by another podcast for a game. All right? They're going to both be at the same convention, so they challenge each other to a game. They send the freshmen to play. Now, they left it up to a, a vote of who should go play. But then the guy lost. And, you know, I've had losses. You've had losses. It's just a game, man. Yeah, it's just a game. But he has dogged him the last two shows because he lost. Well, if it was that important to you, maybe you should have went and played the game. But then no, you don't let you don't play the game. You let the freshman go, and then you're gonna pick on him about it, and then you don't even follow through with your bet. He bet him that if he won, he'd give him some donuts. If not, he was gonna eat a dozen donuts in front of him, oh, I and he couldn't eat the damn donuts. Couldn't help it. You yeah. little fucking whiny pansy ass. I remember that he couldn't eat the donuts. Yeah, yeah. couldn't eat the donuts. <laughs> I mean. Uh, and the way he talks down to everybody that's on his show, like, they're not as smart as him. Well, maybe they are smarter than you. I mean, you're so narrow-minded, you'll only go to 40K. That's the only game out there that's, that's worth a fuck. If you play any other game, you're stupid. Yeah, maybe they're not so stupid, Bo. Send emails. Send yeah, all emails. the flaming emails. Address them to me. I, it, it just, I don't know. The guy just got underneath my skin. I really like the show. I don't have a problem with the show. I just have a problem with him. Just listening to him, it's like, oh my God, dude. You know, get over yourself. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> we'll stop. I can we'll keep going. No, no, no. no. What's, what's next on the agenda, my friend? What's next? What do we got up? What's next? Uh, <laughs> what, are you trying to cut down the, the <laughs> of emails we get? I know. <laughs> trying to help with the inbox. It's like, all right, what's next? Uh, well, I got a couple new segments coming up. I'm not sure at this point whether or not I'm going to do one of the new ones or if I'm going to do another hobby one, but it'll be right after this segment. Um, so I guess uh, we can cut it short yeah. this week. And right now, that's it. We'll see you around then. Get yeah. ready for uh, more hobby information, and we'll go in there. Part two of the show's coming up, so uh, see we'll you see you then, and then we'll see you next podcast. Bye. Thank you.